Hello. I'm Purity. How are you? It's another tutorial for you guys. And it's also from you guys. For this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a map voting GUI suggested by Diamond Mile. After some researching and troubleshooting, this video is now possible. Also note that this tutorial is advanced. So if you don't know what the heck am I doing, ask me in the comments. I'll explain any related questions. This video has a bunch of things so bear with me. Alright to the video. Before I start, let me show how it looks like in final. Okay so first, I'm going to split this into step by step. First thing first, you need maps. If you already have some maps, you can skip a bit of this part. I already have some maps. It doesn't matter how many you make but make sure it's more than 3. Having less than 3 could probably break the code. Also this is very important, you need to have a part named spawn so the players can be teleported to the part. Make sure you group them all and have different names so it's diverse. After you make these, create a folder inside lighting and put all maps inside the folder. Nicely done. Anyway, make a lobby too. Also a spawn location inside. Yay it's complete. Next step is making the GUIs. I love a good GUI so I made this. Also make sure all the GUI elements are in the right place like in the explorer. Make sure it's the same or else the code won't be able to find each and everything. You need all GUI elements shown in the explorer here or else it won't work. Congrats! On to step 3. Other stuff. These stuff is to make it not confusing and easy. Make sure each of these has the right type like int and bool and remote events. Look at the class name shown in the video. These choices thingy are map choices okay? If you change any of this variable's names, all scripts can't find them and you have to change some part of the scripts. GG no re now for the worst part of all. Scripting. I'm going to put all script in the description so you won't have to do anything lol. I will explain each scripts with visuals so you can understand what are they for and what they do. Okay first. Let's make a script that runs when a player joins. This script is easy so don't worry, so get the script. If you're wondering what it does, it basically creates a bool value inside the player when they join the game. This is used to check if the player has voted or not. Now for the vote script. This one is pretty long but don't sweat it. Again in case you don't know what it does. It will receive an order from a client and add a vote to one of the choices the player clicked for example, if a player voted for the first choice, this script will get the order and add a vote for you. It will also change the bool value voted to true which indicates that the player has voted, ok this one is a bit harder. We are going to reveal script. This one will first check if the reveal votes boolean is set to true. If so, it'll forcibly change all players voted bool to true. And then, the script will find the highest number of votes and check which map choice has it. After that, it will update the winner's value to the chosen choice. If the reveal votes boolean is set to false, it will make all players voted boolean to false so players can vote for the next round. And it will also reset all choices number of votes. Please understand this I can't really explain. With all of those, we are finally done. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you struggling with errors doing my tutorial. 
I'm so sorry I tried my best if you stuck or need help just let me know. Anyway, 